Greetings one and all Marvel Snap players, I am Romek of the channel Snap Mania and as usual I bring you only the best of decks. Now, from the last move deck everyone is telling me, Romek you've washed up, you're only playing bad decks, well here you go. You wanna, you wanna see the best deck? Fine, I'll show you the best deck. This is the best deck, it's Patriot, yeah. You see Wasp and you're thinking, oh my god, he's gonna play the High Evolutionary? Nah, no, man, I'm gonna play Patriot, I'm gonna play Debris. Invisible Woman was recently buffed to be free attack, Rip Cerebro too, no one likes that deck anyway. We can play Wave with it too, Super Scroll to steal the opponent, Sarah, and stuff like that. Maybe we can even steal their Cosmo and you don't even care because of the ongoings. I put in Iron Lad, yes guys, for you. I have wasted my collector's tokens, instead of buying Miguel O'Hara, I have bought the Iron lad and with the iron lad there comes his dad iron man i don't know the lore don't you dare explain it to me in the comments we got blue marl we got onslaught it's the same deck as usual mr sinister to round it out stealing it from cerebro too but i think you already know how patriot is played this is the best patriot deck and i think you'll want to see the games of how it's played so without further ado let's get snapping our first match let's see what we can do i hope we open actually pretty broken because i want to show off how good the deck is early and then because that's when the watch time usually falls off you know guys the old youtube we got hala we drew Iron Lad, we got Debris, Wasp, and Mr. Sinister. I wonder what we're up against. Probably, I don't know, Cold Blooded, the guy's name is S and he has a Maximus profile pick. Hmm. Some tells me this is Galactus. Maybe that's why it's an S in the background. Anyway, we got Iron Lad. I'm trying to make some conversation. How was your day, guys? I had a nice day. I ate a, I ate a Junta. And Junta is a Serbian meal. It's Serbian like... It's like a, it's not a pancake, it's like a hamburger, and with, with like, roasted cheese, it was so good. I got not much to say, the opponent's goddamn AFK, I'm trying to like, hello, dude, are you there? <laughs> I'm staring at this hand, and I'm thinking like, Nebula or something. Sunspot into Hala. <laughs> Boy. I'm gonna Mr. Sinister mid, I don't know why I think that's the best choice here. God, Iron Lad will be so good over here. I don't know, Miniaturized Lab is kind of stupid for us. There's not much we can do to really alleviate the problem that will be caused to our debris. Misty Knight. With Sunspot. I don't understand why would you do that, but okay. Do I even Invisible Woman here? Oh. Well. How about that? I mean, I can Debris into Iron Lad into Wasp, which is pretty good. Hmm. I mean, I can try. I'll play Debris anyway, who cares? Yeah, there's no way we're outpowering that. I don't care about a rock, but the opponent will still be clogged. Now we Iron Lad and we get Iron Man, and if we get Iron Man we just win. And if we get Super Scroll that insta-kills the opponent's deck. Oh my god, we got Patriot. So we have two Patriots. What's better than one Patriot? Two, goddammit. And I think you guys will love what I'm gonna show you off with it. Now let's play an Invisible Woman with a Patriot. I mean, we know he knows what it is, but the fact is, Enchantress does not beat the Invisible Woman into Patriot. Or, or anything, for all that matter. The opponent has played Professor X or something? No, abomination. Which means they're gonna Hulk it out, out, which is... Oh. The Hulk could be a problem, depending on where they play it. The Hulk is ongoing. We have to think. Super Scroll is the Hulk right now. So, guys, it's a simple... It's a gamble of... Mid or right? Somehow I think they're gonna go mid. They did! Now let's see. That's the Hulk. Well, sadly for us, we've ended with our turns with only non-spent mana once. Yeah, the opponent had a really decent start with Sunspot, and we couldn't really capitalize on the Miniaturized Lab, so that's an L for us, sadly, I know.
Even the best deck can lose, which is something you guys need to really learn, because I get comments saying like, Oh my god, Romic, the deck lost? What? Why would it lose? You say it's good! Like, you guys realize the deck can lose. And even though we played perfectly there, Hulk with the High Evolutionary is really strong, you need to realize that. It's way... maybe it's a little too strong. Oh my god, TVA is probably game losing over here. I mean, we can gamble for it, but... Expansion with TVA is usually the gamble thing. I mean, I can wave right now. And force the game to end in a certain way. Okay, let's see what X-Mansion gives us. If the opponent gets... Okoye is god-awful. And magic... Is magic. <laughs> it's pretty magical. This beats Galactus. They can't go mid if they want to win. I mean, it's a gamble again. Maybe they are Galactus. I mean, they're named Null Powers, so... Do I gamble? If they win Baxter Building, we're dead, though. It's such a gamble. If they Galactus mid, we're dead. Oh my god, that was the right play! Ultron, give it to me! No, it was actually Onslaught. We lose to the Destroyer! Really? Bro drew the Destroyer? Waving was so bad over there. Ah. Guess I made a mistake. I mean, it wasn't really a mistake. No, we don't know what they're playing. But the point is, we even played Iron Lad over there. And still, the opponent just had the literal strongest card that you can play without it being the Infinaut. So yeah, sometimes that happens. Jesus Christ, why did that happen? This is the best deck in the game and we lost four cubes already. There's gotta be a way to make up the lost cubes. And Sinister London is a great start for us. My god, Sinister London is so good. Our Iron Lad has been kind of slacking on the business. And it being a sunspot tells me that this is something really not fun to play against, right? I mean, all invisible woman. Armor. Watch it go right. Oh my god, it went left. Who knew? If we get Patriot, I'll snap. Well. I mean... I mean, that's as good as it gets. I won't lie, that is like... But the problem is we have no cards with no abilities, so I'll just have to go for the Iron Man Onslaught with Blue Marvel. No, I can't even do that. There's just no way. I'll Patriot under the Hellfire Club. The opponent will Cosmo. I have done the correct thing. They're snapping! Oh, are they now? I'll counter snap. Yeah, let's go. Let's do this. Time to show off. Like, I ain't afraid of this guy. This guy's a moron. We'll win this easily. Iron Man into Onslaught is still the best way to gain power. I'll Iron Man. Like, he doesn't know I have literal Exodia. And I'm gonna put in, and you know, guys know I'm gonna put in the edit of Exodia Obliterate! <laughs> well, the Patriot's kind of a dumbass, but yeah. Oh, he's gonna Infinite. What's with the Infinite? Like, Jesus. Okay. Depending on how it goes, we'll win or we will lose. Oh, wait! I just need to win mid. That's all we need to do. And now... Onslaught! Onslaught his ass! Oh my, oh my god! 64 power, 52! That's 8 cubes for the best deck in the game. Or second best deck in the game. I don't know, maybe it's good cards wave. There's so many good decks right now. And we've won 8 cubes against an Infinite deck.
It's basically a pool 2 deck with Cosmo, Sunspot. Yeah, it's basically a pool 2 deck. And there we go, guys. We've gotten 8 cubes. We got to rank 117. The move deck has really clouded my judgment. It wasn't the best. But this now is finally providing some cues. We're plus 4 from where we started. Up against Joe Birdo. He's like, he's like Roberto, but he's Joe. We got Wasp, Debris, and Mr. Sinister. Danger Room is yikes. I don't like Danger Room. Danger Room is a 100% chance for your cards to be destroyed and the opponent will just suddenly just be... He can... Dream Dimension is my least favorite location in the game, but maybe it won't be so bad. Our Iron Man is useless though now. I'll have to Mr. Sinister. Okay. They didn't evolve. But they are playing Scorpion. Just in case it's Galactus, I'll debris left. Like, I don't know what the opponent is playing and I don't want to find out later. And I realized I could have played Wasp last game, but I didn't want to clog the locations before anyone. And if you commented that already, ah, there you go, there you go. You can shove it. And now we have Wasp, who's zero attack. We have a minus one Iron Man, a Patriot to our name, and a Super Scroll. I could have paid, maybe played Patriot right now, but I don't think that's really the case. I put in the Mystique icon just so the opponent thinks I'm running Mystique, so they Cosmo, but no, we don't run any unreveals aside from Iron Lad. And Mr. Sinister, I guess. Imagine if we ever drew... What his name is Iron Lad with Mr. Sinister. That's literally a 6... It, that's a 12 power card in 4 mana. It's a, it's almost like Dark Hawk. It's almost as good. And the opponent is sleeping! Come on, dude. Wake up. Wake up. You yes! see? It died. It died in the j danger room. I, I played it and it died. It's all it happened. We will Iron Lad... I don't know where. Personally. I'll Iron Lad right on the Limbo. Since we don't have a problem with Danger Room anymore. Polaris. Sure, clog my locations. I don't care. Like, I'm a Patriot deck. Invisible Woman. Could be game winning over here. Oh, that is really good. And they don't have Storm anymore. They can't cancel Limbo out. This seems like the Darkhawk deck. And it does in a way. I will Patriot. No, I will Iron Man. Why would I Patriot early? I will Iron Man. They will self <laughs> Sarah. I love Sarah. Sarah is my favorite deck. God, I love Sarah, but there she is. Sarah has finally dropped off. Can we do much? We'll see. I mean, we're winning this location guaranteed. Now I need to wait for either Onslaught or something, so I will Invisible Woman right over there. And it will die, watch it die. Mr. Fantastic, Bomba Fantastic, he will Nova. Nova died immediately, so he doesn't even have to kill Monger, he has it anyway. Which is still pretty much fine, can Invisible Woman survive? Yes, she can. I will Ultron. This will probably be the win if they don't have Cosmo. Praise to Jesus! Like, they don't have Killmonger. Does Sarah really run Cosmo? Does... Do they? This looks like a sil Surfer deck. Juggernaut. I mean, it doesn't really matter. Surfer. Oh my god, it was a Surfer deck. We will Ultron. Dropping drones on top of the, our opponent, we will Iron Man, granting us a basically a little power boost, and we will lose by one in two locations. Oh my God! The Scorpion was funnily enough game winning for them. Like dropping Iron Man by one power is so like everything. Everything went right for the opponent. Jesus Christ. What can you say? Sometimes the opponent wins all the 33% chances, they hit your Iron Man with, your, with their Scorpion, your things just die, 
everything that and they triggered their killmonger immediately like everything is just so good for them like we drew wave on the final turn imagine if we drew it one turn earlier we would have won immediately but yeah sometimes them's the breaks watch them open scorpion again nebula ugh. the opponent opening nebula is always like the and death sentence like if they open nebula that card's win rate jumps like with by 20% I think nebula on turn one is insanity coiling wing into swarm they've really opened everything we will negate all their possible mana gain but aside from that we're not really in the best position to be winning but we have wave for their final turn all we need to do is get some priority and we can win this easily Literally, heart of the cards guide me. That's all we need to do. We will super scroll. Like, we need- all we need to do is win right now. Dracula is perfectly fine. We will snap against our opponent, causing them probably to shit their pants. Because they're like, why would I be snapping? There's no reason. How could they win? And then you reveal way- Oh! Oh, there we go, you little bitch. You want to bring it on? Because I got something for you. I got the turbo penis. I got wave to destroy him. Yeah, yeah, nice Modok, dude. Whoosh! Hell cow! Apocalypse! They need to get so lucky it's not even funny. Like, they need to be... Their luck stat needs to be infinite right now. Oh my god, they really have Wolverine too! Boy literally drew everything! Oh my god, he drew so well! His hand is basically garbage, but... There's so many good hits here, too. The fact is, we win mid, but we just kind of... Well, Onslaught gains us a whole bunch of attack, but... The opponent needs to... If they play left, we kind of die to Apocalypse, don't we? We need to bank on them getting garbage luck. Like, they will just rely on Nebula to win, right? That's all we need to do. We need to bank on them relying on Nebula. And Dracula discarding correctly. Because otherwise we win. And they will think we're gonna play right, because if we... That gives us even a chance of victory. Them whiffing. So the correct play is playing left. But I need to play right too. And the things in my deck... I have to believe. Oh. Ultron! No, this was the worst one! I've lost 8 cubes because... Oh my god. Oh, it's so bad. Like, why? Yeah, Necrotia really destroyed us. We didn't even draw Ultron. Like, if we got Ultron here, he probably could have done something. But no, it was just the worst. It was Mr. Sinister and Ultron at the bottom. And the opponent drew literally everything. Even Wolverine to discard. Jesus Christ. We dropped by 8 cubes. That was dis soul destroying. Yeah, sometimes the discard play just draws literally everything. Like, they had everything. Discarded properly. Drew Coiling Wing into Swarm. Opened Nebula. Like, yeah. Sometimes you just can't win against that. We open Mr. Sinister Iron Man Debris. Monster Island is not bad for us. It's actually pretty good because the monster is a card with no abilities. See, it careful. He likes to mash. Sadly for us, God, Iron Lad has not been hitting anything of value. Like, it only hit the Patriot once. Otherwise, it's only been hitting stuff like Invisible Woman twice. Our luck has been... I think the worst it can possibly be. The opponent opened their one drop, which is Quinjet. If it's... What could this be? Quinjet Agent 13, that is... That is a deck. 
watch him snap on this. If he snaps on this, I will most definitely follow up. I'll snap. Like, we don't have Patriot, but we have Iron Man, Ultron, and Wave. Like, all we need to do is just make a giant power difference. Which we can. Relatively easily. They will collect her into Sentinel. Okay. Well, now, this is kind of rough. I will wave into... Yeah, into wave. We need to draw Patriot or Blue Marvel! We need literally any of our ongoing effects. We're not drawing any of them. And Iron Lad isn't hitting them, which means we wouldn't draw them anyway. <laughs> it's really kind of sad. Like, this is one of the best decks in the game, and we're just getting demolished by terrible draws all game. In any game. What will they onslaught us? <laughs> Wait, what's this card back? Oh. It looked kind of funky for a second. Super Scroll is not it. We don't need Super Scroll. Like, Super Scroll is the last thing we need. Oh my god, we will lose again because our draws are just terrible. Drawing, like, watch us draw Invisible Woman. We will draw literally the Invisible Woman. I just know we will. Oh my god, it's Patriot. He, exi he exists. He's in the game. I can't believe it either. Well, we died to Double Devil Dino, I guess. Otherwise, we just kind of win. Or they will just Shang-Chi or some bullshit. Let's see. Yeah, we kind of died to Shang. I think we should run Patriot with a little more tech choices. Like, this is the best Patriot version in the game, and it just dies to a bunch of shit. I know Iron Lad is insane, but... There's gotta be some text choices we can add. We can add, like, Cosmo, because we don't care about it. Like, Super Scroll is good, yeah, against High Evolutionary, but we're not facing him at all. We've only been facing Sarah and shit like that. And we've lost 8 cubes to just this card drawing literally everything they could ever need. Forge into Shang-Chi. Oh my god, it was Ultron all along. We will Patriot, giving us a billion, more billion amount of power, and that's 4 cubes. We somehow got 4 cubes back, which means one thing, we're back where we started, actually. Yep, we're right back where we started. We didn't climb one, we didn't... We didn't climb at all. Let's see if we can climb at least a little. I've done five missions. It's been 25 minutes. And I've only... I'm not even done with the dailies. It's just been such a... Such a wash. <laughs> of games. It's like everyone either has the perfect answers or we just don't draw our ongoing. And Iron Lad misses! Almost every game, he got, like, Invisible Woman three times. Oh yeah, Collapse Mine. If the opponent snapped, we knew what that was, it was just death. Oh my god, we didn't draw Patriot in our opening- uh, Squirrel City is great for us, but we really need to- We really need to get Patriot off early. Hood means this is probably that control deck that they call it. It's not a control at all, but well, let's say it is. I will miss- I'll miss their Sinister in case they run Polaris or something. Medusa or something, right? Or Viper, whatever her name is, the green woman. Oh my god, that's actually not bad at all. The Demon. I will super scroll in Central Park. And I should snap, I'll snap. Like, I'm not afraid. We have such an amazing hand right now, just because of us drawing Patriot finally. It's like, you need to draw Patriot in your Bro, what are you cooking? Bro cooking garbage, what? 
Okay, I'm perfectly fine with that. I will Patriot left into Onslaught and we will win. Professor X or something, right? Spidey, actually. I don't do not care at all. I will. Well, a squirrel is that much power, so. Blue Marvel is just so much power. Iron Man is even funnier. Like, Iron Man is just a bunch of power. What's more power, Iron Man or Ultron? Ultron, yeah. And it brings more power to the entire board, which I really kind of desperately need right now. They will try to Sentry or something, right? Or, or like, Valkyrie? Enchantress! That does nothing! Okay. Huh. We've gotten four cues because our opponent uh, gave us power. Like, do they know Enchantress kind of buffs cards with no effects, giving our Patriot just um, even more value? <laughs> Thank you! We've gotten somewhere, we've gotten four cubes where I think three cubes plus. Can we get somewhere else? Because Jesus Christ. And finally, up against CR Mook. Maybe a Cristiano Ronaldo Mook. Are we finally gonna run up against the Galactus player? Yes, we are! Yes, we are! We're gonna face Galactus with our debris. Oh, Savage Land. The most mightiest of lands. I will Mr. Sinister give to give us priority. They will Wolverine. Lizard. Lizard. Are you real right now? And then playing it right there just kind of sells it immediately. We know what this is. You know what? I will survive that. Because I will snap into debris. Yeah! Get out of here, bitch! <laughs> so we're back with the deck, and yeah, it looks like the tier 1 Patriot deck is not as good anymore since the High Evolutionary came out. Yeah, it's like I've been telling you guys that the Patriot just isn't that good anymore. And I think there's a simple pro and con list. Like, first the pros is Iron Lad is amazing when he hits stuff. And people always say, like, there are no bad hits in the deck, and they are really not the worst hits, but... You know, sometimes getting debris can clog you s suddenly and you just lose. Ultron can just whiff. I think running Doctor Doom might even be better because you're running Iron Lad. Because it just scatters a whole bunch of power and you're not that scuffed with locations. No matter how Patriot g performs well with Ultron, he can clog you and that is just... I think you should swap out Ultron with Doctor Doom in your new Patriot decks. Super Scroll is great if they're running High Evolutionary, but as you have noticed, sometimes the High Evolutionary players don't even care about dropping your power. They won't play Luke Cage, they can just sit like they're an idiot in one lane with Sunspot, and if you don't have Killmonger, you die. They just play Hulk on the final turn, who's basically a Infinite with an upside. And I think the biggest con is, it's just not surprising enough. Like, yeah, you win sometimes with just dropping stuff like Iron Man, who's just like really good when gotten with the Iron Lad. Biggest problem with Patriot, it's so, so inconsistent. Like, Iron Lad is basically another copy of a card of your deck. It's basically, he's basically a better Jubilee, in a weird way. Because Jubilee draws you a card and puts it immediately on the battlefield. But Iron Lad is a... Basically, it doesn't draw you a card, but it basically tells you immediately you have two copies of the next card in your deck and you immediately play it, which is quite a strong effect and he's probably the best 4-drop right now, but I don't think he's the best 4-drop in Patriot exactly, especially in this list. This is what people are calling the best Patriot deck, it's in the tier 1 position, it has a really good win rate, and yeah, we did get cubes, we did get one, but the problem is, like, we're an infinite, I'm gonna do bad snaps, and I'm gonna snap just to show off that, not only do are we having, do, have, do we have balls, but we can play, 
Like, we gotta play games out, we gotta see. Like, in that discard game, I would have retreated every single step of the way. Like, the moment we didn't get Patriot or shit like that immediately, you retreat. You wave and you gotta be like, but do I play it out now? And in Infinite and I, as a YouTuber, have to play these games out for you, boys. I gotta play them out. And just like... Iron Lad, I gotta say, maybe his home isn't really in Patriot, like, it's good in Patriot, but I don't think it's as game-breaking as people are calling it. But, aside from that, that was the games for today. I am Romic from Snap Mania. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you in the Snap Mania.